Hello friends. Welcome to my new Bootstrap 3 tutorial series video. Friends. In our previous tutorial, we coded simple Bootstrap 3 web application. In this tutorial, we will look into working of, container and well classes in Bootstrap 3. Let's go to, getbootstrap.com website. Under CSS tab, you can see there is a section by name, Containers. Bootstrap requires container to wrap its site content. Containers are responsive, thus, Bootstrap Grid also require them to be placed more efficiently. There are two types of containers. Fixed Width Container and Full Width Container. Fixed Width Container is rendered by, Container Class. And Full width container is rendered by container fluid class. These classes are part of Bootstrap CSS. In our previous tutorial, we saw working of container class. It encapsulated website content in a fixed width container. Having a padding all around. The container is fully responsive. Moving ahead. Let's see working of full width container. Container fluid CSS class is used to render responsive full width container. Let's copy and paste, above heading and paragraph, into div of container fluid CSS class. Let's go to browser and refresh the page. You can see it has displayed the heading and paragraph by taking full width of the browser. Moving ahead. Here, I have demonstrated working of container and container fluid CSS class in the introduction folder. In order to share source code for each tutorial, let me just copy paste introduction folder, to create a separate folder for container and well. I will rename it as, container dash well. In introduction folder I will just revert back changes to previous tutorial. So that I can share each tutorial source code separately. Under container dash well project, open index.html file. Provide a title to it as, container in bootstrap 3. Provide comments at the end of container and container fluid div. Let's rename index.html as container.html. It will be helpful in identifying which source file belong to which tutorial. For demonstrating working of well class, let's create a new HTML file by name, well.html. I will copy contents of container.html file, to well.html. Let's remove contents of container class, and code for well class. Provide a title to it as, well in Bootstrap 3. Moving ahead. Let's create a div element having class of well. Inside div element provide a h1 heading as, this is a well. Also, 
let's provide a paragraph having lorem ipsum text. Moving ahead. Copy file path and open the file in browser. You can see it has displayed heading and paragraph in a responsive well. The background color of well is gray, having padding from all sides. I will provide comment at the end of well. Moving ahead. Let's create a large well, using well-lgcss class. Copy and paste entire div having well class. Bootstrap creates a large well, if well class is used with well-lg class. After well class give a space and type well-lg class. Change heading to, this is a large well. Refresh browser, and it displays a large well. Similarly, there is a class well-small. It will create a small well. Perform same steps for well-small class. Save and refresh the browser. You can see it has displayed a well which is small in size. Moving ahead. Let's create a new HTML file by name, container-well.html. I will copy contents of well.html file, to container-well.html. Provide a title to it as, container and well in bootstrap 3. Let's remove contents of large and small well class. Here. We will see how a well looks inside a container. Moving ahead. Inside body tag. Let's create a div element having class of container. Inside container div element, cut div element having well class, and paste it. Thus, we have created two div elements, one having container class and other having well class. Here, container div is parent to well div. Save the file. Copy file path and open the file in browser. You can see it has displayed well inside a container. So friends, this brings us to end of tutorial. In this tutorial, we saw working of container, container fluid, and well class present in Bootstrap CSS. In upcoming tutorials, we will code more Bootstrap 3 features and components. So friends, go through this video 2 to 3 times so that, container and well class in Bootstrap, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give 1 minute to like, share, Comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.